videos. This is um, example seven from class four. Should have made this into multiple classes, huh? But they're actually kind of run pretty quickly, so I don't know. They're very a lot of stuff in common, so I, I think it's it's worth kind of pushing together into one class, maybe. I don't know. It's up to me. It's up to you. We'll see. Anyway, let's say that we want to move between um, this box uh, between uh, these two uh, locations, and we want to create um, a machine that does this, right? So um, we're we're given this orientation, and we want to uh, make make these uh, make these moves, right? So um, here we go. Design a four-bar language to move the object. Uh, from position one to position two using A and B uh, for the attachment. Add a driver dyad uh, to limit its motion to the range of these positions desired, making it into a six bar. And all fixed pivots should be on this base right here. Okay. And check for a Grashoff condition of the principal linkage in the four bar that's formed by the driving dyad. Check the appropriate transmission angle at the extended position. Wow, that's that's a much longer uh, uh, job right there. Um, so anyway, uh, here's how we would proceed using the stuff that we've done already. We would uh, connect A1 and A2 together and bisect them. We we could we could. Do you know draw between um, a b b b um, one and b two uh, as well? But let's just keep it for here for now. Boom, boom, because then it would make a lot more messy marks. Oops, I didn't get it enough. These people are loud. Don't be so loud. Okay. So we can draw the line that goes between these two right here. Right? And it's hard to see that one. All right, so there's a, there's, there's a line and we know that um, we would make a, we're gonna make a link that lands somewhere on there. So maybe I'm gonna go ahead and pick a spot and we could even pick a length of a link right here if we wanted to for uh, just to make some kind of like you know make it make some type of sense and so I'm gonna pick uh, make it two two um, long according well you know it's not these already have a scale to them so we'll pick it to be right there and then we also do the same thing over here for uh, B1 and B2 and we might want to like it's good to keep the lines there so we can see them uh, for like uh, an, an analyzing the homework but in terms of like keeping track of stuff this could be really difficult to do because there's lots of lines going on right so there's B1 and there's B1 and there's B1 okay so before we forget let's draw a line between these right so there between here and here is the other linkage uh, that I want and I mean it, it, it's got a line on this line let me say I didn't mean to make it go to that point it's somewhere on this line it needs to be and Maybe you want these to be parallel. I don't know. Maybe, may, maybe that would look good to have these look parallel to each other. Um, there's nothing that says it has to be. We could make it like here. You go make it. I'm making it 2.5 long right here. Be like right there. All right. So this is going to be a pretty long link. And here it is in the other position right in here. And let me uh, let me make it as a dash line. So like, let me also make this a dash line too. I didn't make it into there. So so 
So here is technically um, the ground in between here. Let me put this guy in there. Say he's O. Which one are we going to call this? I guess I didn't bother to call it anything. We could call this, I don't know, you could call this to be the, 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 the link one. I don't know. O2, O4. Um, but in order to get this thing to move from here to here, it looks obvious to me that I want to make the driving dyad onto uh, this piece right in there. So I come in and I will make it, I don't want to make it too big, but not too small, right? So uh, maybe, uh, you know, and I can pick this dimension right here. And well, that almost came out to one. Well, it's not, but. I can pick that uh, dimension so that it comes in between here and here, right? So that's the line along which, uh, and, and it's going to be, um, it's not going to be quick return, right? We, I don't know if it said a driving dyad to limit the motion to this range. Okay, it doesn't say whether it should be a quick return or not, but so we're not going to make it a quick return, but so, so. We also want, um, and I got it. Once I got to double check. I don't know if this line bisects these two things. I think it does. So this right here, between here and here, would be um, the crank uh, distance, right? The cr the length of the crank needs to be half the length between here and there, right? So yeah, it looks it looks pretty close to being right to there to there. That looks pretty close. So now it it's okay for the crank to like perhaps um, land. Now did it say anything about the quick? No, I'm looking at mine. I made mine quicker turn. Yeah, I made mine quicker turn. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, so I'll show you mine here in a second. But uh, here, here is a non-quick return, and nothing that says that the the the, the link is the links need to land on the base, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it can't extend out over right there, right? So um, I I can't I think that's the center. I should have picked it a little bit better. And that right there would be like an O6, and so if I extend these out here. This would be what it looks like in the overlap uh, position between um, the crank and the coupler. And right here is the overlap position right there. It could also come into the extended position, right? So the, here's the extended position of this coupler for the dyad, what's considered the coupler of the four bar. Um, here is like right here we'll draw in just a line for the um, for the base for, for the yeah, for the ground that is between the, this O and it's supposed to be a six O six and O two. So there there is um, a solution uh, to this. Um, and I also point out that here is one with a quick return uh, type of behavior um, that I put in here, and you can tell because of the orientation of the um, overlapped and the extended of these that then would be quick return. And I don't, I'm reading in the thing it says check the Grashoff condition. So what else you, also that you should do as part of it is pick out, um, you could check out the Grashoff condition of, of this link, this link, this link, this link, and this ground that's formed in between there. But it's not going to be Grashoff. But it doesn't matter because it doesn't need to make a full rotation. This, however, does, right? The, the, so you want to get um, this, uh, you want to check, um, let's, let's uh, use this proportion here. Let's, um, L, let, let's call this L1, even though it's not. It's just for this, I mean, we were, probably would have labeled all these others as the one, two, and three, and this is, you know, five and six, you know, on, onto the thing. Um, but I'm going to call this one L1, this ground between um, O, uh, and, and maybe we even, like, not even call it that. Mm, yeah, okay. 
L1. And that's going to be 2.4. The crank is just this right here, which looks to me to be um, about 0.7. Oops, 0.7. And the coupler, well, let's see. It's either this length right there. So it looks like it's like 2.1 or it's this length. Eh, it doesn't look very good. I messed something up there somewhere. I think. 2.1. That should be 2.1 as well. Huh. No, wait a minute. What am I doing? Oh no, it's this one. There you go. Yeah, that's 2.1. Yep. See, the, the, the crank would be between here and there. Or it would be between here, here, and there, right? So let's, here's like the extended. Here would be the crank length, and here would be the coupler length, right in there. So 2.1. And then this one right here, we actually could have made a decision of how big that is, and that looks like it's uh, 1.4. So, and this needs to be grass off, and it needs to be, uh, you know, crank rocker so um, the long is going to be uh, 2.4 the short is 0.7 so L plus S is, uh, is that 3.1 looks like it and then the P is something else right 2.1 and Q is 1.4 so uh, P plus Q is going to be um, 3.5. So um, L plus S is less than P plus Q, therefore Grashoff. And the uh, ground is the longest one, so that's going to be. Uh, no, actually, I think it's the, the shortest one is the crank, so it's going to be the GCR. Forget which one. Let's see if I have um, any uh, things in here that show uh, the results of this. Okay, okay, there's, an, there's a whole separate one right there. Interesting. How long is that one going for? It's almost 13 minutes. And which one are you? No, that's three position. I don't think I have you in here. Let's check it. Let's check and see if we have them in here. Open. This is class four examples. For whatever reason, trying to open the drawing files instead. Uh, SolidWorks files class. Project class three examples. Is this class three examples? No. Class four examples. Class four example one. Uh, class four example. Huh. I think I already opened this one up. Yeah, that one's already opened up. So maybe I didn't do this one. Maybe I need to uh, make another video. Mm -hmm. Could do it. Could make another video out of it. Hmm. Let's see what I have for videos. Let's see. Here's a video for three, four, and five using the thing right here. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So I don't have the class. I don't have the example seven done. As a, uh, and I don't know if I want to do that right now. I don't know if I have enough time. It's at five eleven. I'm gonna eat dinner. Yeah. We'll do it later.